and the, the green lights was as the body lens. The blue, the blue lights were called approximate width. And the, finally, the final result, the final aspect ratio was the ratio of these blue, blue lights and red lights, the average, to the green lights, the body lens. And uh, this is a confirmation, confirmation, confirmation ratio. I define the confirmation as define as the top half of the pink body. And uh, the left image, the red dot is the test data in the op, in the op mask, op mask of the image. And uh, the blue one is uh, use this thing this square to nail this to fit in the red data ellipse. And uh, after I require after I get the ellipse, I can find a point. And the point uh, can help me to find the minor axis and the longer axis about the uh, conformation. So I use conformation the final conformation ratio is the ratio of green lights to the green lights. And uh, I will show some result of Segmenting segmentation with the augmentation, and uh, you can see that it is such terrible. So this is a result of with augmentation, and I will show you some result not without segmentation. Uh, I'm sorry, without augmentation. And uh, without augmentation, <laughs> I have get a better result, and uh, it is means that my augmentation strategy have some problems. So after this slides, I will use all result about without augmentations result. And uh, my my fully conventional network to same semantic segmentation of soul of soul body got F1 score ninety three percent. And uh, this is my training loss. After five hundred epochs it will converge <coughs> about zero point zero zero one five. And uh, this is some result of the image processing and the segmentic, segmentic segmentation. The first one is the ori original image, and the second one is the training mask, and the third one is the third cone is the the third cone is the output mask, and the, the fourth and the fifth col column was the ratio about aspect and the conformation. After these steps, I can get some ratio to change the linear regression to, uh, to determine the body condition. But there is a problem. You can find that the score from real fields manually mostly is three. So it, it may cause the data interpretation is not work well. And uh, we can show the linear regression results. The coefficient of the expert ratio and the conform conformation ratio respective is negative two 0.4 and uh, about 2.2 .2. and uh, the mean square error is 0 0.278 and uh, the R square error is 0 0.558 and uh, you can say that the mean square error and the R square error is not high is not low enough and uh, the R square error is not uh, the R square number is not high enough and uh, I so I think the probably reason is the uh, is, uh, data is too mostly of three scores. So in case pre predictions all the scores precisely. And uh, my calculator is sem semantic segmentation by using fully confusion network is an effective approach to automatic segment the uh, source from the background. It gets uh, F1 score 93%. Image processing act was applied to define two ratios of image. That's one. I have shown the image. And uh, the coefficient of the linear regression model in the, in, in the indicated that two ratios were essential choice for data mining the body computer score. But there is some problem. Also, this ratio is important because the co coefficient is high, but it, didn't, it, it, can't, it can't predict the result precisely without more data or more divergent data because this data is too mostly on three. So if we want to predict more uh, data mining, uh, more accuracy of the body computer scores, maybe we need more data and the uh, acknowledgement. I really appreciate the professor and Zhong Li of department 
animal science and te technology in National Taiwan University, it gets many help and the, the sole image is provided from him. And uh, that's for your listening. Any questions for presenter? Yes. Yeah, instead of the, <clears throat> the manual uh, testing for the confirmation, have you considered using an ultrasonic depth measurement? Uh, uh, had, um, the confirmation. So it seems like you're getting scores of around clustered around threes, and it's not entirely an objective way to measure confirmation. So, had you considered instead using an ultrasonic? Ultrasonic. Well, there's a problem. I, I started this because in Taiwan, there are few, few breeders use ultrasonic, ultrasonic measurement. If they are, used, they, use, they are used to use ultrasonic measurement, and I don't use this study. This study is help that they don't have to use invasive or cost, uh, never cost. Uh, ultrasonic measurement to get a body to support. Okay. Any other questions? I have a question. So how do you compensate the point of view, I mean the angles from the camera? And because okay. you see, can you go back to your slide? Okay. Many uh, so back here, yeah, this one is different. You see that, uh, you took a picture from a specific angle, but if the angle change, can you still uh, get results like this? When we acquire the pig the soul body, we have to uh, point one. Uh, in the this is the tail, right? And uh, this is the back. Uh, the the tail and the back not measure too much. If the distance is too much, that means the angle is long. And uh, if the if the distance is higher than the high, than one tail or two, the tail is long. It means not a long right angle. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Still have like uh, three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we went through it very quick. So, so all the sounds were the same age. Same age. The sounds. Are they in the same age? Oh, this song, this this song is in the same age. But I have got some new image, but they are not putting this song in right now. Well, I, I didn't uh, see the R square uh, very clearly. Can you go back to the slide? So did you get very good? Seems like the regression is is not very good. Mm. Do you using market regression? Uh, I have tried something some else methods like random forest and the decision trade and the the result is not work well as as this. I, I saw the public work problem is I saw that. Man, too too many data is mo most data is scores of three and I can handle it for the diversion. So what I want to ask is, how do you know the relationship is linear? You use linear regression. How do you know uh, the data you're trying to fit uh, survey the linear, linear relationship? I see, I see the co coefficient is... Uh, I see the co I, 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 my opinion is that I, I see I say that because the coefficient shows that. Okay, but you can think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to think about it because uh, it's not necessary uh, that a spec ratio and confirmation ratio is linear to your score. They might have like other kind, maybe polynomial or second order relationship. So I said that the mean square error is not low enough and the R square is not high enough. This this linear regression is not very fit for, for my data, but I can say the data is too much. Okay. So really, you have three points. You only have three points because most of your data has a score of three, 
and you have one point at 3.5 and one point at 4. So, very difficult to get any correlation. I, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I on, only have 32 images. And I can't use all the images to use linear regression because I have to use some for semantic segmentation. Yeah, I just just to follow up on that, I just I thought maybe if you had a different way to measure the confirmation, the confirmation that you might have to be But running out of time, so thank the presenter again.